हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू डे ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ जनवरी लीड कोड चैलेंज एंड आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर हैविंग अ ग्रेट टाइम द क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव इन टूडे इज गैस स्टेशन हेयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन एन गैस स्टेशन दैट आर प्लेसड अलॉन्ग अ सर्कुलर रूट वी आर ऑल्सो गिवन अ कार एंड अ कॉस्ट आर ए द कॉस्ट आर ए सिग्निफाइज द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ गैस इट कंज्यूम्स टू ट्रेवल फ्रॉम द आई एस स्टेशन टू आई प्लस वन स्टेशन what we need to do we need to check whether it's possible for the car to travel along the circular route and cover all the gas stations we need to return the starting index from where you will begin your journey if it's possible if it's not possible then in those cases we need to return minus 1 also there is an important attribute that is specified it is guaranteed that there will be only one unique solution that means out of the input array there will be only one possibility which will lead to the answer there can't be a case there where they have two stations that will be through which it will be possible to cover all the gas stations this is a very important point and in case you miss this you will screw up the solution so let's quickly move on to the example that we have i'll talk about it in the presentation so let's quickly move on to the ppt where i'll talk about this example and the algorithm to go about it gas station lead code 134 it's a medium level question on lead code and i totally feel the same so let's get started let's take the same example that was specified in the question we have the gas area as 1 2 3 4 5 the cost associated as 3 4 5 1 2 so let's start by understanding the question let's run get into the details of it let's try to think about it whether it's possible to start from each of these indexes or not so what we can do uh, let's check whether it's a valid candidate for the result How much amount of gas do we have? We have gas as one unit, and the cost associated for moving to the next gas station is three. So, will it be possible for you guys to actually start the journey from this position? No, it's not possible. Let's move ahead and let's calculate the difference between these two. How much gas do we have? A uh, gas well, gas starting value is two units, and the cost for moving on to the next station is also four units. So if I subtract a uh, gas minus cost, then what do I get? I get minus two. Since the value is negative in nature, it's not possible for us to start the journey from this particular location. Let's proceed ahead. We have three as the gas value, and the cost for moving on to the next station is five. So if we are starting our journey from this particular index, then again it's not possible for for us to complete the entire gas stations. because it's not possible to move on to the next immediate gas station so uh, how can we mathematically state it if my cost minus gas minus cost happens to be negative then it's not possible let's proceed ahead so we have the gas value as 4 the cost value as 1 this seems like an interesting case because it's the first time we are seeing that we have more gas than cost so if we start our journey from this particular location Uh, then how, what is the cost for moving on to the next station it is one unit so if we do that then still we'll get three more extra gas available to us for consumption in future because gas minus cost happens to be three which happens to be positive in nature let's proceed ahead next we have is gas value as 5 cost is 2 so 5 minus 2 is again 3 which seems like positive in nature and let's write minus 2 again here also it is specified that all these gas stations are present in a circular manner so this is connected with the zeroth one this index is connected with the zeroth index now if i ask you guys what do you think whether it's possible to move across all the gas stations given this particular cost how can we check that the approach is pretty simple and straight forward we will add up all the gases value that we have we'll sum those up so 1 plus 2 gives me 3 3 plus 3 gives me 6 6 plus 4 gives me 10 10 plus 5 gives me 15 and similarly what we will do we'll sum up all the cost so 3 3 plus 4 is 7 7 plus 5 is 12 12 plus 1 is 13 13 plus 2 is 15 so what do you see both of them turns out to be equal had it been the case where the cost value would have been greater than the gas value the total gas that you have 
then in those cases you would have simply aborted the process and returned minus 1 as your answer because the cost for iterating over all the gas stations happens to be greater in nature than the total available gas that we have so the first and the foremost thing is calculate the total gas value total cost value and in case our total cost happens to be greater than total gas tg then we return minus 1 if you have understood this property and the one that i previously discussed where we were calculating the difference between the gas and the cost then you have understood 90% of the algorithm now let's conclude how can we identify the starting point where we need to start our journey so it's pretty simple and straightforward you calculate the difference array uh, then you check whether the current value happens to be negative in nature so in case it's negative then definitely you are not going to start your journey from there let's walk through the same example what do we see we see that it's negative in nature let's skip it it can't be the starting point let's proceed ahead next again we see it's negative in nature we are not interested in uh, whether what value it holds we are only interested in checking the sign it's again negative in nature we can't start our journey from here let's proceed ahead again it's negative in nature we can't proceed uh, start our journey from here now what do we see next we see it happens to be of positive value that means if we start our journey from this position then we will have some extra fuel placed in our tank which is beneficial for us so we'll simply make our start pointer point to this location and we will we will not won't be concerned about the future values there could be a case where going further we have a higher higher value when we make the starting journey for example it could have been the case where the difference would have been 6 however we would would we have updated the starting pointer to 6 instead of 3 no because cumulatively you start at making a cumulative sum till the time it remains positive in nature 3 plus 6 gives us 9 that means we will have more power or more consumable petrol or gas with us so as to complete the entire journey that's why as soon as you see a positive value then only you make it as your starting pointer also it was specified there will be only one solution to your complete problem it's unique in nature that was the biggest hint that led to concluding this approach for better clarity let's assume there were few more entries after 6 let's assume there was minus 10 the, in the difference array then we had 4 so let's start the iteration and let me just create a variable telling what is the remaining petrol in my uh, tank let's call it R, rg remaining gas or remaining petrol whatever you want to call it and by default it is initialized to 0 so you add 0 plus the current value it turns out to be negative in nature minus 2 plus 0 turns out to be minus 2 you can't it can't be your starting point so let's skip it and again we see minus 2 0 plus minus 2 it can't be the starting point because it's negative in nature again we see minus 2 minus 2 plus 0 is negative you, it can't be the starting point next we see is 3 3 plus 0 gives us 3 so the remaining gas gets updated to 3 since it's greater than 0 it can't be the starting point which we also discussed let's proceed ahead next we see is 6 6 plus the remaining gas what is the value that is 3 3 plus 6 is 9 so the remaining gas gets updated to 9 let's proceed ahead again it's positive in nature then we see minus 10 minus 10 plus 9 gives us minus 1 the remaining petrol goes negative that simply signifies that this particular index can't be your starting point what do you do in such case you increment it to i plus 1 where you are currently standing at you're standing at this particular location you make it to point to i plus 1 also as soon as we reject this particular index we have to reset the value back of the remaining gas to 0 because in the previous iteration it go went beyond 0 it got updated to minus 1 and we rejected that 4 can't be a starting index therefore we will have to reset it back to 0 let's proceed ahead now we we check what is the current value at this particular index the current value happens to be greater than 0 so we update our starting pointer to this particular index which will be 6 
plus plus seven. So seven turns out to be your answer, which is expected. I hope you got the context. And let's quickly walk through the coding section where I'll tell you how to code this up. Here I've taken two variables, total gas and total cost. So we start the iteration, we iterate over the entire loop and I, we update the total gas value and the total cost value that exists in the gas area and the cost area respectively. In case my total cost happens to be greater than total gas, we return minus one in those cases because as per this gas and cost configuration, it is not possible. Uh, let's proceed ahead. Now we know there must ex there exists a solution. What do I do? I create a variable named remaining gas. I create the starting pointer and point it to zero. The remaining gas is zero by default. So we start the iteration. I update my remaining gas to equals to rem uh, remaining gas plus remaining gas. So let's just write it in a better way. Plus the difference between the gas that I have and the cost that I have at the ith location. So this is my current travel cost. It could be greater than zero. It could be lower than zero. But what we are interested in, in case my remaining gas goes beyond less than zero, what will I do? I simply discard my previous start location because that will not lead to iteration over all the gas stations. And I update my starting pointer to I plus one. Also, I update my remaining gas to zero because right now we are reconsidering I plus one as a starting location. Once I'm done with this, I simply return my starting pointer. So let's try this up. Accepted. Uh, it's pretty good time complexity though. It is equal to order of N and the space complexity is constant space. We are not using anything extra. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.